welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Christina and I film videos from just a kind of everyday girl's perspective. I know that there's so many people out there who are fantastic at doing makeup and I watch their videos and sometimes I feel a little intimidated that I don't have the same skills they are. So I try to make videos that will help kind of the general girl who doesn't have, you know, the amazing skills that some of these other professional YouTubers are. So I hope that you will enjoy. If you do, please give this video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. So today's video is going to be me talking about some of the new makeup that I've tried recently. It's on my face right now and they are from the last two months of Ipsy. So if you're not familiar with Ipsy, it's a $10 a month beauty subscription service where you get five deluxe size samples that are kind of curated to you based on your taste and reviews and different things like that. So some of these things I am going to talk about, you can't really see them because it's like a face wash or a hair thing or something like that, but most of the things that I got are included in this bag and I'm going to talk about it with you. So let's start first with something that you won't be able to see that well, but it is the Juice Beauty Stem Cell Cleanser. So this is just a general face wash. It is really nice, cleans, very gentle. I've tried it a couple times and as much as it says it gets rid of makeup, it does not. I still need to, if I use just this, I need to go back with like a micellar water or something like that. So this is usually the second step in my um, cleansing routine after I usually do an oil cleanser to get rid of the makeup and then I double cleanse with this. Next up on my face is this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Wear Full Coverage Foundation. And I think it did a really nice job covering up. Um, I didn't spread it on too thick or anything like that. I did use this Billion Dollar Brushes Foundation Brush. Now normally I use a stippling brush because I'm not a huge fan of these kind of thick paddle brushes because sometimes I feel like most of the makeup gets caught in here, although I kind of feel like that happens with most brushes. So, I don't know. But I do, I did like this brush. This is a lot better than other brushes I've had that are like this. I had, or I still have an e.l.f. foundation brush that's basically kind of the same thing, but that one was so dense that I felt like it was just sliding foundation around but not actually applying it places. So while I'm not in love with this type of foundation brush, this particular version of foundation brushes is pretty good. So I have two different things on my eyes today and they are both loose pigments, which I'm still kind of getting used to. One is from Seraphine Botanicals, and this is in the color Crystal and Chrome, Smoky Quartz. I'm not sure which one is the actual name. And the other one is from Steve Laurent, and this is in the color Rose Gold. So what I did was I applied this all over the lid, and then I applied this as kind of the upper highlight. So I don't know if you can kind of take a look here. You could see, I mean, honestly, they're kind of the same color, so it didn't really show the contrast I wanted to, but you know, I wanted to give them a try, so I put these on. I forgot to also mention that I was sent this Farrah brush. It's a blending brush. It is super fluffy, and I like how it has these kind of little grooves right here for you to be able to hold on to it. Um, I used this a little bit, but I really didn't have to do a lot of blending out because they were kind of the same color but I just wanted to give this a try. I had been using it for some other things and I do like the way that it blends out my makeup. So this is a really nice brush. I'd never heard of this brand before. So I was really excited to get this Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer from The Bomb. One of the people that I love watching is Andrea Matigliano and she talks about how this is like her go-to ride or die bronzer and so when I got it I was so excited and she even uses this shade too this is in the shade Oliver so you can see I just kind of used it a little bit here dusted it around my face nothing you know too crazy but I think it just adds a nice little dimension to my face and then the last thing that I'm going to talk about is this Catherine Cosmetics um, highlighter and I think if you take a look here you can really see the highlight put it here a little bit on the tip of the nose little bit on the cupid's bow and this is in the color um, Sienna's highlight and it is so 
pretty. I think it really applies very nicely. I even put a little bit as the pop of color or pop of highlight, I guess, in the inner corner of my eyes. It was really nice. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm really looking to try to do some more things, branch out a little bit. So I would appreciate any criticisms, any suggestions, any comments or anything that you have. Please leave them in the comments down below. I will link all of these products as well as a link to Ipsy if you're interested in checking out what it's all about. I hope that you have a fantastic day and as always, stay beautiful. Bye.